السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I hope you all doing well إن شاء الله As I promised I am back with Sambusa recipe uh, So many people since I started YouTube channel have been requesting Sambusa So here I am today to show you how it's made إن شاء الله And make it as, you know, as always simple as possible um, I'm just going to divide the Sambusa recipe into two The first, res uh, the first video will be uh, how to make the sambusa dough and then I'm going to make a second video of how to make the sambusa filling and how to fold etc so inshallah uh, I hope this uh, benefits you all right let's get started uh, for sambusa for the dough you only need a plain flour a bit of oil a bit of salt and water that's it there's nothing else you need to make sambusa dough so here I have plain flour to that I'm just going to add a bit of salt just to stir that in oil that goes into and then water add your water bit by bit until we have the right consistency and as for sambusa dough it should not be too soft when making be careful it should not be too soft and um it needs to hold together basically so mix that in so the dough should be nice and firm not too uh, hard and not too soft but make sure that you knead properly for about if you're using by hand, 7-10 minutes. So this is done, nice and smooth. Place it back in the bowl and leave it for about 10 minutes and let it just rest and then come back to it, finish the rest inshallah. Okay, after about 10 minutes of resting, that's done now. So all I'm going to do is divide this dough into nine equal pieces that. okay because we're gonna make it into a balls and make sure they're not too big just the size really so wrap that And then all you have to do is just fold it in until you have nice round shaped bowl just like that did somebody say nine I meant 12 sorry my my maths ain't that good so just put a little bit of flour and we're gonna make it into a round shaped circles not too flat at this moment just be gentle with it just like that grab another one same size same shape with some it can be daunting as it's got a lot of process into it especially when you're making your pastry from scratch so a little patience is required so don't be scared to try inshallah so just like that take another one okay once you have rolled it out, get oil and spread one teaspoon at a time of oil, sprinkle with plain flour, just like that, grab the other one, goes on top, again one teaspoon, spread it all around. This is how you're going to get easily peeled sambusa 
pastry so I'm just doing three at a time some people do it uh, four at a time five at a time six ten uh, depending on how you know it but I want to show you as easy as simple as possible so it doesn't um, stick too much together so if you have never made sambusa stick to three layers at a time so you don't give yourself a hard time make sure that the three are leveled just like that and now we're gonna roll it flat but first make sure the three layers are holding onto each other if one is shorter just bring it up so now get your roller sprinkle a little bit of flour and roll it this technique is really important really really important this flat so three pieces together and then rolled this thin okay so now we're gonna cut it into four equal parts like that straight and then in the middle this is now ready to be toasted I'm going to show you how it's done so I have my hot tower here and I'm just going to place it no need for oil no need for butter nothing all we're going to have to do is just toast it um, not cook it because these are really thin anyway all we have to do is toast both sides so we can peel them off one by one it literally takes a few seconds make sure your heat is not too hot you don't want to burn it you don't want to make it golden color just give it a burn it as you can see it's cooking and then flip it over for about another minute and it should be ready literally takes about less than a minute just like that place it here make sure you have a towel and then we're going to peel it off one by one while it's still warm okay I am done so all I have to do now is peel them one by one without trying not to rip them off this is still hot so just be careful because we don't want it to get cold then they will it will be hard to separate them from each other just like that see how light this is so just place it here so we have three layers right so Get the other one find the edge and then gently be very 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 gentle with this and always have some extra in case you rip one off um, you burn one and so on so have extra on the side and another tip that I want to give you is um, while I was making I was using a teaspoon each layer um, so be very gentle with the oil and sprinkling the flour as well because this is not a machine made this is a handmade so you have to do your best so it's easier for you later on to peel them one by one just like that do you see how thin this is this is you don't want thick a dough of sambusa. I don't like that. I like it to be thin and crispy. So once you have done the peeling, before you do the filling, we are going to trim the edges because it's kind of thick and, and hard 
you don't want that so just follow the shape and just trim the edges gently just like that and then it's easier to fold and do the filling that's it this is the video for uh, some busa dough uh, in the next video i will be showing you how to do the filling inshallah and how to fold it and fry it as well so i hope you enjoyed this video inshallah and benefit from it make sure to take your time with this and go at least three three layers at a time three layers at a time or even two layers if three is too hard for you start with two and then just peel them off just like that and uh, yeah as i said it's kind of uh, a lot of work involved when making homemade sambusa especially with homemade filo pastry but it's worth it and it's fresh and you know exactly what's in it so inshallah do continue to watch the next video and and uh, continue watching the recipe until we do the filling and the frying and obviously the tasting i'll see you soon